Hey, welcome to another edition of Peak Life. I'm Jim Hazel. Uh, you know, I guess it's still the pandemic, you know, and the coughing and all that, and that's what we're going to talk about today. But six feet to my left is Dr. Himanshu Desai, and so glad to have you here to talk about, you know, when to worry about coughing. Yep. Thanks, Jim. Um, why don't we jump right on it? Uh, what is the common cause of coughs? Because, I mean... Usually I cough because, you know, there's smoke in the air or something or, or, or sometimes just to maybe interrupt somebody. But, <laughs> <laughs> but what, what, right. what is the calm? Why do we cough? Right. So cough is a physiological response. So we all cough for many conditions. And uh, if I break it down into acute and chronic cough, I think that might help people okay. to understand. So acute cough is cough which lasts for less than eight weeks, while oh. chronic cough is something which goes on for more than eight weeks. The common causes of acute cough are respiratory tract infection, okay. like pneumonia, bronchitis, flu, and COVID-19. All right. And the chronic causes are post-nasal drip, reflux, or asthma. Sometimes some medication can also cause cough, and chronic lung conditions like COPD, pulmonary fibrosis, so there is a long list, basically. Right. Many conditions can cause cough. But you can have a cough for a couple of days, but just to put a fine point on it, when should somebody worry about their cough? Right. So if somebody has cough for more than three weeks and they don't yeah. know what's causing it, then it's a time that they need to get some advice. Also, if you have cough and you are short of breath or you have fever or chest pain or if you are coughing up blood, that's the time well, that yeah. they need to worry about it. I mean, the times I worry about it is I, if it hurts, that's when I think I'm going to call and make an appointment, you know? That's true. I think uh, cough is like day-to-day -day stuff, but, you know, all cough is not normal. Right. And, and everyone should be aware that way they need, when they need to go and talk to the doctor. Well, in, in this pandemic and the COVID-19 kind of situation we're in, wouldn't we want to maybe step that up? Sooner, like, uh, you know, if you're coughing for a couple of days, you might want to think about it. Or, or what's right. the difference between a COVID-19 cough and a regular cough, you know? Right. You know, that's a good question. <laughs> hey, I came <laughs> up with a good question. <laughs> there is no real difference between COVID-19 cough or regular cough. Oh, okay. So COVID-19 does not come with, oh, this is me causing cough. Right. Uh, but so you if somebody... Tell. Right, you can't tell. But if you have fever, uh -huh. if you have shortness of breath... And if you think that your oxygen is low, that's when you need to think about getting tested for COVID-19. Also, any people who are at high risk for complications, like somebody who has immunocompromised state, um, like they're on dialysis or elderly, and if they have cough, I think I don't wait for three weeks. And those patients should be checked sooner. Right. Same thing with the healthcare workers or those people who work in grocery stores or uh, places where they are around too many people, three weeks is a long time for them. So if they have cough and they don't have an explanation, like they don't get allergies and suddenly they are having new cough, maybe they should be checked. So those are the main symptoms up front. It's the fever, right. the uh, shortness, shortness of breath, of breath and along cough. with the cough, right. And right. Uh, but no other telltale sign. There's no like... For, for COVID-19? Yeah. 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 So That's for, really all anybody that, cares about, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah. And I, I, can, I can imagine like anybody who has coughed these days, they would just worry about, oh, that's, is it COVID-19? I know. Right. So uh, these three are the most common symptoms. However, some people just have diarrhea or they, they feel tired. Okay. Um, so COVID-19 can also cause your oxygen to go down. So just feeling too fatigued. Uh -huh. In addition to cough, even if you don't have fever, it, it might be possible that they have COVID-19. And as we all know, that many patients don't have any symptoms. Right. right. Everyone seems to have a different thing right. to it. And on that note, people uh, uh, might have long-term effects. Or right. uh, what, what's like generally, what, what, what can go down on you or, your, or what organs get affected? Right, you know? right. So I think the, the most common organ which gets affected is... Lungs, lungs, right? Yeah. yeah. And so COVID can cause like mild pneumonia or it can cause severe pneumonia. And it can also cause 
it's a fancy term acute respiratory distress syndrome or ARDS basically the lungs become full with fluid and they are uh, so heavy that they can't transfer air and these patients may require mechanical ventilation so in addition to lungs other organs can also get affected um, COVID is known to cause blood clots it can happen in brain so people can present with stroke mm -hmm. it can affect heart and uh, many patients or I would say people and young children can present with a condition which is not related to one organ and they can have just widespread involvement of different organs so COVID could be tricky it is tricky and it is scary. Yeah. <laughs> it is, and it is right. so um, one of the main reasons why we need to be wearing our masks and staying six feet apart like we are. That's, mo that's the most important. While we are waiting for vaccines to be available, mm -hmm. the only way we can try to slow it down or prevent is by wearing the mask or stay, staying away like we are. So, Before we go, how long would, does it take for someone to recover? But in, in, I guess it, it's different for different people there too. You are right. It's, it's different for different people. If, if they have like mild pneumonia, generally two weeks, three weeks. But if they have severe pneumonia or ARDS, it can last longer. And they have a few patients who, who are not even better after a few months. So as we are learning more, we'll have a better idea. But right now, I would say a few weeks to maybe a month. That's the time frame that most of the people should get better. Okay. Okay, great. And of course, we can go to ChesapeakeRegional.com for more information on that. Thank you so much for coming, uh, Dr. Desai. And I guess uh, don't forget to wear your mask, right? Right. Put okay. the mask back on. Right. <laughs> hey, Thank thanks. you. Thanks a lot for watching uh, A Peak Life. And don't forget to wear your mask and be careful out there. And we'll see you next time.